Hey guys, the listeners were quipped on Marie local and international. Hell of a speech. Joe Biden's remarks on exiting POTUS race praised by Stephen King, Kamala Harris, Rob Rayner, Wendell Pierce, and more. I have decided the best way forward is to pass the touch to a new generation, President Joe Biden said Wednesday night from the Oval Office. That is the best way to unite our nation, the 81-year-old incumbent added of his exit from the 2024 race in quick endorsement of Vice President Kamala Harris for the Democratic nomination. Certainly, reaction to Biden's primetime TV speech has been almost totally united in praise. Blacklist founder Leonard Franklin and Stephen King both perhaps put it best and most bluntly soon after Biden's just under 15 minutes remarks ended. Let's see. Oh, they tweeted about it. Let's see what they say. Excuse me, guys. Excuse me. Okay, Stephen King says, Hell of a speech. One of the big Hollywood donors who called for Biden to withdraw from his re-election efforts after the president's debate debacle of June 27th Rob Rayner, the director of the American president, left nothing on the table tonight. Joe Biden will go down as one of our greatest presidents. I've never more proud of being an American. <laughs> okay, Mitch Landrio, simply the most consequential president of our lifetimes. Thank you, Joe Biden. Again, it was presidential. It was amazing. It was great. And after that, he went in the lawn and have some ice cream and celebrate with his, all the people that work in the White House. You know, you guys know he loves ice cream. And that was a way to celebrate him stepping aside, not being selfish, thinking about the future of America, wanting to unite Americans, period. And if you cannot see this man is the best person who ever served in the White House and not being selfish enough to step aside. And why why nobody from the Republican Party don't have the cojones, the balls to ask Trump to step aside? Seriously. Trump cognitively is declining. He doesn't know what he's saying. But they are so afraid of him the mega court is so into him, they cannot tell him, hey, sir, uh, I don't think you'll be right for this country. You cannot do it. You are insinuating violence. You condemn in violence. You're not good for the country. You're a convicted felon of 34 felonies. Enough is enough. You cannot do this. He's 78, not too far from 81. Hello? <laughs> Subscribe, yeah. Thank you for watching.